Good morning, children. Welcome back to the social session, children. From today onwards, we will have formative assessment 2 revision. And you know the syllabus for uh, formative assessment 2, uh, children. Uh, the syllabus for this one will be the freedom movement uh, in Hyderabad state, the Indian constitution, parliament uh, and central government. So as part of that, uh, I am going to tell you, uh, we are going to revise uh, freedom movement in Hyderabad state children. Of course, few of the questions, uh, how to write uh, answers for those few of the questions also we have seen. Like, uh, uh, what were the demands of the Hyderabad state congress uh, and how many of them were fulfilled? What were the different activities of Andhra Mahasabha for the promotion of education? And why do you think uh, was the literacy rate of a Hyderabad state was lower than the princely state? These were some of the questions we tried to answer in our previous classes. So, let us see. Uh, about uh, the other areas of uh, Andhra Mahasabha, that is, uh, what were its uh, uh, foremost demands, children. So, you know it very well that Andhra Mahasabha was very critical or very uh, powerful over its uh, demands of uh, primary education, especially it has passed a resolution in 1935 uh, annual conference uh, with some objectives and they have identified some problems uh, the compulsory primary education was uh, has to be implemented was their uh, most important demand and later they also told that mother tongue uh, the education should be in mother tongue and uh, the legitimate rights of the people in jagirs should be protected legitimate rights in the sense uh, the legal rights of the jagirs where the tenants were uh, uh, fired out at the will of the uh, jamindar was there so these legitimate rights uh, protection was also their demand Child marriages were practiced uh, in a large scale. So, they wanted to prohibit, uh, discourage the child marriages. Local self-government uh, should be introduced where the participation of the people uh, can be seen and even they had demanded for the uh, more people to participate in the uh, governance. And untouchability was also another important uh, social stigma uh, those days. So, they wanted to eradicate even this untouchability also. These were some of the uh, problems identified and uh, passed a resolution in 1935 and for which the uh, Andhra Mahasabha played very important role. And Andhra Mahasabha leadership uh, when in 1940s uh, was uh, taken over by the communists, uh, it has completely turned uh, from educational, from literary forum and cultural forum, it has completely converted into a political uh, forum. And uh, then, when the communists had taken over the Andhra Mahasabha leadership, they had uh, introduced radical uh, methods through which uh, they wanted to achieve the land reforms. And as a result of that, there was an outbreak of the uh, armed struggle, the Telangana peasants armed struggle against to the Nizams and uh, Jamindars had taken up. And uh, we cannot also even forget uh, uh, the editor of the Golconda Patrika, Suravaram Prataparedi, one of the most important uh, question children. The editor of uh, Golconda Patrika is Suravaram Prataparedi. Suravaram Prataparedi. Who is he? He is the editor of a newspaper called as Golconda Patrika. Aach, uh, Inadu, Sakshi, Namaste Telangana, Kaisa hai newspapers. Us zamane mein ek paper tha, uska editor jo hai Suravaram Prataparedi. O, o newspaper ka naam jo hai Golconda Patrika. Or there are also many other poets, hamara Telangana poets also, those uh, who were uh, breeding the nationalistic uh, fervor, like Kaluji Narayan Rao was there, Dasharati Krishnamacharya and uh, Dasharati Rangacharya. These are some of the literary luminaries from this region who also fought for the freedom of Hyderabad state against the Nizam. And uh, by 1940, as I was telling you, uh, against to the Vetti, that is a bonded labor, Vetti was practiced in uh, Hyderabad Samstanam, Hyderabad uh, uh, princely state uh, uh, elaboratively. So, against to this Vetti practice and against to the uh, excess uh, being collected by the Jamindars, Jagirs, uh, Jagirdas of this region, uh, there was a movement conducted by this uh, Andhra Mahasabha. Even Hyderabad State Congress was also fought against to the uh, Nizam in this Hyderabad, in the state of Hyderabad. And uh, the Hyderabad State Congress uh, got formed actually in 1938. And uh, Vande Matram uh, was a popular nationalist song during, this uh, during that time, which was banned by the Nizam for singing. 
and you know nizam responded uh, uh, by closing down the colleges by closing down the schools uh, for which uh, the students are made to go to other uh, states for their education and i was telling you uh, the literacy rate was very low in our uh, uh, hyderabad state when compared to the other princely states of the uh, country so further about the uh, hyderabad state freedom struggle and hyderabad state congress of ramananda tirtha okay we shall see in the next class and you don't forget children one of the most important question is the first chief minister of hyderabad state is burgula ramakrishna rao once again i repeat the first chief minister of hyderabad state is burgula ramakrishna rao thank you children